So hello guys, my name is Theo and we're gonna get to rough sketching because I need to tackle this art block that I've been having all day today. Uh, nothing good is coming out. You know, you just have some of those days as an artist where your brain is just poo poo and I just want to get through it. I don't want art block to take this victory from me today and I'm just super pissed, but I'm gonna take that energy and channel it into something creative and just do something. So these are gonna be uh, new segments that I'm gonna call rough sketches, pun intended, pun intended for sure, because I am a doggo. But um, yeah, I just wanted to still not just kick the bucket for today and get into just warming up, getting something out for the day. And I posed to you guys on Twitter, uh, what should I draw? Um, specifically Pokemon. We're gonna do them just from memory and we're gonna see how well my poo poo brain uh, fares. So let's get into it. Okay, so checking Twitter now. I've not seen any of the replies or submissions So this will be the first. What do we got here? We have from Tired Yeen uh, Puchiana. Ooh, I think uh, yeah I think I remember that one from was it Ruby and Sapphire from Gen 3 that is like my favorite generation So let me put on my little drawing glove on my paw here And we're just gonna get into Ooh, is this a good brush? Ooh, this is like the perfect, I like the texture on this one. Okay, we're gonna just try and use this one. And we're, I'm gonna try and hit <laughs> Control Z as little as possible. And we're just gonna just, just diarrhea it out. You know, that's the best um, verb I could have used there. Uh, so Puchiana. I remember Puchiana being like this little, uh, like, was it gray and black dog here? And I don't want to spend maybe more than a couple minutes on each. So we're just going to go through uh, the first 15 and see how that fares. But I remember it was like, you know, it's kind of nice that it's actually kind of more of a furry creature that we could start with. So let's see. Uh, Puchiana was more of just a simple dog. I remember he had really anime type eyes with like a slight like anger. Uh, like what was it? Uh, eyelid there. Um, almost like that one, uh, what was that other one? Zora Pokemon? I remember they kind of have similar eyes. But, let's see. Uh, yeah, he was also one of the earlier Pokemon you can get in um, Gen 3 from the, uh, the Grass Patches. But let's see here. Um, what? What does his body even look like? Oh god, the art block is so hard. But he was tiny, so I gotta keep the body small. Gotta draw the little beans. Okay, okay, this is looking good. I know dogs have little, you know, like L-shaped bodies here. They got the little anthro leggies. I like drawing those. Um, did he have a tail? Did he have a tail like curled up like this? Or I think I think it was down. I think it was down and a little scraggly. So yes, there we go. Oh, gotta get in the other. The other leggy there. You can shade it in there for some depth. There we go. Uh, did he have like claws? I don't even know if he had claws. I'm just going to add him claws because those are cute anyway. Little claws right there. Puchiana. Um, did he have like a little... I think he had like a little pattern too. So it's like that. There we go. There we go. That's... That's 100% Puchiana. Uh, I think... Ooh, you know what? We're gonna even add color. This says sketching, but who says a sketch can't have some color here? Uh, okay, so what color was he? He was more in the gray region, so let's just add a quick layer here so I don't totally mess this up. Uh, and I think he had about... No, this was... I think he was a bit darker here. So we'll try and get this in here. Real nice and sloppy like. That's how I like it. For my sketches. Nothing else. Whoa, what's happening there? Oh, this brush ooh, this brush has a different effect actually. I didn't know it blended like that once I lift my uh pen off the screen. You know what? We're gonna roll with that. Let's see what it does for our drawing. Um I can actually use it to fit in this like lighter coat here. I think I think his face was only Partially coated in the lighter coat, so like maybe the the tuft of his ears or so is uh, uh, Lighter so maybe it's like this 
And then maybe like only the bottom half of his chin is coated in this lighter color. Yep, that's... Oh, wait, no, I know he had some red eyes, that's for sure. I, th I think they were red. So that's that's our Pucciana almost. Wait, got to get the, the little whites of the eyes. Yeah. Um, and he had the dark spot for the eyelashes, I guess. That is 100%. Oh, wait, no, did it? Did he have a dark nose or like a light red nose? I think it was more like this, this kind of like... Yes, that that's totally it. This pen is fighting me a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, what else do we have? Moving on. Next submission. War Turtle. Okay. Let's, let's try what a War Turtle looks like. Isn't that like the second evolution of Squirtle? I, I know that much. Uh, let's see. Squirtle. I know... I know Squirtle had more round features. So, let's see. Uh, I remember there was like a really cool one with shades, you know? I don't know if that was like... The first evolution of Squirtle that Ash had, uh, maybe maybe he had like these little cloud fluffy things. I, I remember that being on War Turtle because he was cooler for some reason, but Blastoise didn't keep them. Um, he had like a big grin. I remember, uh, kind of like you know a little cat like there with a little tooth, and I know he was you know pretty cool. There, he had like little little fingies. Uh, he had like a big round body though, right? Is he like dabbing? Oh god, he's dabbing already. Yep, he's dabbing. Uh, he had a big body. No, nope, let's see, big body like this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, it's looking good. It's looking good. Uh, did you have like those? <laughs> Yeah, I think he had, like, little tiny feet here. There we go. Oh, God, this is so rough. Oh, I said the title. I, I said the thing. Do you have a little tail? He's got a little tail there. Does he have any cannons? I don't know if he's got, like, any of these cannons. No, that's more of a Blast Toys feature, right? Yeah, that I think, I think so. But maybe he's got, like, a little bit of that pattern, the... Little soccer ball pattern on his uh, shell there. Um, and he had like those little cute tick marks. And looking pretty fly. Looking pretty good there. What is what is he again? I already forgot the War Turtle. Thank you, Para, on Twitter for War Turtle. I think I think that's that's as good as uh he's like mmm. <laughs> He's like almost like posing like Team Rocket or something. <laughs> little swirls on his elbow. That was really cute. Okay, that turned out a little bit more cute than I was expecting. Uh, I like you. Give, a little, give him a little shadow. And some bubbles. There we go. Little, little bubbles. That's how you know he's water type. And, uh, oh wait, yeah, we can add some more color here. I'm going to be making like two layers per, we're going to keep this simple here. Uh, so let's see what, I think they stay the, does, do all the turtles stay the same shade of like blue or something? Oh, this is like a totodile blue. Uh, maybe it was like more teal like, but you know what? We're just going to stick to it. We're going to gun hole through this. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. I am the, he's like the cooler older sibling or something, you know, because all the older siblings are definitely cooler, not totally biased here as the firstborn. But I think he was bl uh, blue all the way. Double D double die. There we go. Does he have toenails, though, too? I'm just going to say he's got, like, two toenails. And uh, they're a little bit shiny. Just look at him, put little swirls on his, on his kneecaps there. Oh yeah, that's looking good. And his turtle body, his little turtle turtle shell, I think is like this nice little, ooh, I like this nice little contrast of yellow here with the blue skin. Uh, and then his, what was the back of the shell? Was it like a brownish or something like that? I think it was just like a dark brown. What can we work with here? Something not too dark. Yeah, that's pretty good. 
I like want to try to stick to like these kind of pastel -y colors. That's looking not too bad. That's pretty good. And I know the ears, they were something like little cloud wisps, weren't they? I have no clue. I totally forget. But that's, maybe, maybe this is, this is what he looks like. That's what we're going to do. We're going to stick with it. We're going to roll with it. Cut it. Print it. Post it on your wall. There we go. That's our, oh wait, his tail, his little tail. There we go. Didn't want to forget that. It's very important. It's an important detail of the war turtle. Okay. Uh, what is the next submission here? Ooh, we got a big boy here, Dragonite. Um, yeah, I remember freaking, he was like the coolest, one of the coolest freaking, oh, what was that? You didn't see nothing. Um, <laughs> I was on the wrong layer there for a second. Uh, okay, so, who, what does Dragonite look like? He's like a nut, like a big butter bean. I remember that much, at least. Um, he... He almost has, like, this Moomin-like shape, <laughs> you know? Like, this Moomin, like, kind of hippo, uh, hippo kind of, like, uh, face. Look at that. This is totally a Moomin already. You just got to make a potato shape. He looks kind of oblong, but that's okay. That's what a Moomin is. Does he have, like, little horns? I think he had, like, little tiny horns. Almost like a Char Charizard. You know what? He looks a little sad. Maybe he needs a friend. That's okay. Um, he's got a little nose there. He's got a little nosy. Uh, I bet you he's very friendly, though. And um, I remember in the movie, uh, what was it, like Pokemon 2000, uh, he would just wants to deliver mail. So... Give him a little sash here. Maybe he's got like a nice little Pokemon mailbag here for us. He just wants to give you a letter. Little messenger bag is pretty cute. And yeah, let's let's see if uh this is one hundred percent of Pokemon. He's got a little heart on top, you know. It's like Valentine's Day, so he's really busy just delivering letters, you know, to all all of the other Pokemon that have dates, you know, while he's just working on, on his career, just trying to help people move along. You know, he's just he's just really here to do his job and do his best because he's trying really hard, you know, to, to, to get that life he wants, you know. Despite everything, he's still, he's still Dragonite. And... Oh god, why, why did I give him such small feet? Oh god. That's... <laughs> okay. I know he's got the belly. He's got the little belly with the stripes. It's a very important dragon-like uh, trait. They have the little dragon belly. Maybe, I think it goes all the way up to his neck. So yeah, we can just add it there. Maybe he's got a little smile. You know, he's trying to stay jipper. He's, you know, he's still pushing through it all. And I oh, and one of the most important traits, of course, is his uh, dragon wings. So, you know, definitely I know how to draw dragon wings. I've drawn a couple bats. So, it's, you know, same smell. Nobody's going to get mad at me over that, for sure. Okay. And that's, that's Dragonite, right? That's, that's pretty good. I like that. Um, looking pretty cute there, Dragonite. A little shine on his nose. And voila. We have oh no, I keep forgetting color. God damn it. We need we gotta get color on this. Okay. Thank you, Dragonite, for working very hard. Um, everyone appreciates mail. I mean, who doesn't like their Amazon orders delivered uh, late? And Dragonite gets the job done. He was like, oh gosh, he's almost like the same color as this cardboard, actually. Let's let's punch that, that uh, orange up just a bit. Because I remember he was like a very tan, orangey kind of dragon. And, you know. Ooh, actually, the ooh, with this pen, we can hit the belly twice. And then it'll change the color to this. That works out beautifully with this pen. Starting to like it. 
And then we can get up the neck. And we can get the face. I think the face, for the most part, was just mostly... Dragonite's mostly just the nose, isn't he? I think so. And then were the horns, like... Oh, see, he's almost kind of like just Charizard colors, now that I'm thinking about it. I think his horns were also the same color, though. But the wings... Were the wings all full orange, or were they like a blue? I don't quite remember. You know what? I'm just going to match it to the belly. Heck, we're just going to make the wing the same color, too. Uh, let's get that arm. And get his hand there. His little little handsies. Then, little feet. And then we'll make the... To contrast with the orange, let's make the messenger bag like a nice light blue. And, uh... Let's see. Let's see how that's turning out. Is that looking pretty good? Whoa, it's like a weird layer style setting on this. Okay. And then the letter, of course, has to be a nice little white envelope. And we can put the little heart on top there. Even though these colors are not blending. <laughs> no, we're going to fix that. The heart must be cute. Okay, there we go. Oh, I didn't even paint in his... his uh, are these called the corneas? I think the white part of these eyes right here, they're the corneas. Yeah. Got the nice little cute peepers. And, uh... I'll shine. Thanks, Dragonite. You're doing a really good job. I appreciate you. Okay, what is our next submission here? I'm not even counting. I think we're on, like, number four at this point, because we did Poochiana, we did War Turtle... And we did Dragonite, so we're we're chugging along here. We're doing we're having a good, pretty good pace right now. I like it. We got some good momentum, keeping them paws moving. Let's see what do we got. Uh, checking Twitter. Xenoclaw says dusk dusk lycronic. Oh no, I read that wrong. Dusk lichen rock. Oh my god, that's one of the newer ones from like Gen five, I think. Was that Gen five or Gen six? I oh after like Gen three, I just I totally don't know. <laughs> Um, I remember he was some kind of lanky, like, <laughs> uh, very, like, hunched over type of Pokemon that was, uh, had a, had, like, a very slouch, slouched position. Uh, let's see. I don't think, yeah, he was a dog that had rock-like elements, hence lichen rock, because lichen means, like, werewolf or something and <laughs> oh gosh yeah this is gonna be a rough one uh maybe he's got some like thick rock like nails or something and uh he's definitely a furry so that's why that's why he's on this list here um did he have like any super striking elements i remember he had like one kind of angry looking like eye or something and then the other one was, like, shrouded in in some kind of hair. Or I don't know if this was, like, a bigger rock form or something like that. Uh, that's that's totally accurate, right? Right? That's, yeah. Um, then he had a nose. I don't, <laughs> I don't know if I could fit the nose in there. There we go. Did he have, like, an eyebrow? I'm just going to say he has just a nice big eyebrow right there. And, uh, I, oh, I know one of the forms he had, like, these rock spikes on his cheeks. So maybe he has a couple of those on this evolution or something, or this alternate form. Um, and he, he definitely had big ears. I, I think I remember some big, some big old radar dishes. Um, that's, this is totally just not somebody's persona, right? And he's got, like, these, uh... He's got, like, some kind of spikes also on his neck. I don't know if I only remember that from the prior form, but I would say... I would say... Oh, does he have a big bushy tail? You know what? If he, if he doesn't, I'll be really disappointed. So I'm just going to say he does. He has a nice big bushy rock and fluffy tail. 100% accurate here. Pay no attention to all of the inaccuracies. This is all 100% uh, Pokemon uh, factually accurate, and I will accept nothing less 
than uh, your uh, agreement because this is an accurate canon model of the Pokemon here. And, oh, okay, so his day and night cycle does have different colors too, right? So I think that it was like some kind of maroon and I want to say like a tan color. So let's see if we can try to get that maroon color going. It was like almost maybe approaching purple. I, thi I think so. Man, got to, ooh. I'm, I'm liking that, actually. It's like, he's just going to be a really edgy Knuckles character. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I just like this purple in general. This is just a nice color of purple here. Magenta, as the artists call it. I wouldn't know. Uh, yes, there we go. Get the little tip tappers there. Gotta get it. I think his coat, though, was a different color. Maybe this was magenta? No, I think the main body of the hair was the purple. And then the... I think the white cream parts were more... Like the accents of the fur here. So let's try to see if we can get most of the tail here. And then we'll just hit it with the lighter accents with a different color. Oh yeah, this is shaping up real nice. Okay, so we can choose like a lighter, almost just, yeah, basically just white. Um, get that in there. Maybe his hands were white. I don't know if I'm getting that detail right, but let's let's just give him some socks. And that tail right there at the end will be, that's, that's looking good. And I think most of his face was also white. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, double check my facts on wikipedia.com, please. But that's... Oh, his eye was definitely red, though. That's got to be a very lichen rock feature, right? It was just all red through and through. And boom. There we have lichen rock. Not I think this is my best one so far. Okay, I I'm liking this now. I'm feeling more confident about my drawings. Definitely 100% accurate here. So... Who do we have next on the chopping block? Zigzagoon Hoenn version by Leaf. Leaf the Mizu on Twitter. Thank you. Uh, Zigzagoon Hoenn version. Was he like the basic version of like the little entry level Pokemon? Kind of like Puchiana? But what is the Hoenn version? What? Um. No, he... Was this Mongusu? I forget... <laughs> okay, this is gonna be a rough one. My confidence went right back down to zero. I thought he had like this Gengar face. Is he the one that fights the Viper or something? Zigzagoon? Um, I am totally gonna get this wrong. But I remember him kind of having, you know, like a nice... Oh. <laughs> Ooh, the memory is kicking in. Um, I thought he had like these big... These big arms with claws. Here. Uh, for sure, because he needs them big bappers to, to fend off the snakes. Uh, oh boy. Did, I think he had like three fingers, yeah. I think he had like, yeah, that looks better. Uh, I, I know he had like a scar, right? That, that's, that's accurate. Okay, and he had a little mouse-like face. Right, right, right. Zigzagoon. That's that's the sound he makes. I think he's got these little Pikachu-like tufts. And uh, you know what? I'm not going to give him the belly. I don't think he has the little belly thing like this. I think he just has like these like uh, random red patterns across his arms and chest, if I remember correctly. I think it was like this. It was like a sash across his whole body. And he had like a little just kind of ferret-like tail. So I think, I think that's Zigzagoon right there. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Uh, so let's go and color this gentleman in. Uh, let's see here. What was it? So majority of his body, again, was like a nice like white, maybe like a silvery color. So let's try to just fill this in right now. Okay. I am somehow actually losing more confidence as we progress with this one. 
But that's okay. Uh, we're rough sketching here. My dudes. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm starting to think his hands weren't so bulbousy. Maybe they were actually more normal sized with the proportions of the arm. Uh, but let's let's still let's try to try to truck on here. Ooh, I like this like kind of pastel-y pink, uh, reddish color we're working with. That oh, that feels more accurate than the rest of the drawing, to be honest. Uh, and then he just had like white. Was it just white eyes? I think so. I, I think mo most Pokemon typically have this eye shape with this uh, just simple color. Uh, okay, fill in the little tufts of ears, and his little feet definitely red, definitely. I'm starting to think that I'm making like some sort of spinda colors actually. I don't I don't know if I'm remembering that right. But this is uh oh no, he had darker talons, I remember. So let's just color that in. Uh let's see here. I can get that over there. There we go. Yeah, there we go. More obvious talons right there. Uh let's see. Oh, the little scar on his cheek. Was that also a maroon? I think that was the same color actually. They kept it simple in this game. Uh, so he, I think he was from Gen 3 also. So this is your uh, Hoenn version Zigzagoon. Uh, and, uh, okay, what, what number are we on here? So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. He's only number 5. We've got 10 more to go, boys and girls. Uh, so let's see. Uh, what do we have next? Number 5. Oh, okay. So this actually kind of stays in line with the with the eye shape of uh, Pokemon that we were just talking about here. So we have Gengar. I think that's a huge fan favorite. Um, I remember his body being just very bulbousy. Like in the first generation of Pokemon, uh, correct me if I'm wrong here, but he was just a super chonky lad. Like even in the way of Pikachu, um, I remember him having almost this Sonic like uh, spikes. He definitely had small little feet. Like, there's no way that he could walk with those feet. Um, but he uh, was definitely a devious little lad. Had those, like, Voltorb, ghosty, ghastly eyes, as we all know them for. I think, actually, only Haunter was the only one to, uh, to really have, like, a different kind of eye shape. But this little guy was a little bastard. I know he uh, was up to no good. What is... What does he do? Let's see. Maybe he's got like a little... <laughs> Maybe he stole like a little jewel or something. He stole like somebody's ring. He's like, or he's, you know, he stole somebody's ring pop. Yeah. And he's all like coy about it and he's like, <clears throat> it's like, yeah. So you ain't getting this, huh? He's just a he's just a bully on the schoolyard. And uh <laughs> I don't know. Is this safe for YouTube? I don't know. It's a hand. It's, he's just making an L shape with his hand. It's nothing nothing else about that. <laughs> Did he even have like I think he had like these thin thin little eyebrows? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> uh, gosh. All the ghost book ones, honestly, are just deviants. Like, if, if you're a ghost, why not haunt and mess, mess with some people? Uh, but that's Gengar, right? 100% uh, accurate. He's got, like, a little... <laughs> little cat-like smirk. Yeah. Okay. That one was pretty simple. At least Gengar and the older Pokemon, they got simpler forms. Uh, so I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get this right, but I would say he's going to be a purple Pokemon. So let's see that purple. Oh, yeah. That's a nice poppy purple right in your face. It's almost more like Grimer. I feel like he was a darker shade of purple, but that's all right. Uh, yes. I never had a Gengar, though. I always was... Um, I think the, because uh, playing the older games, the Ghost Pokemon were, were more sparse than what we have today. I think, like, the Ghost Pokemon now in, like, the later generations are just exploding. We got a lot more different Pokemon now um, that just, I think, focused on, like, what a lot of the earlier games didn't have. So, yeah, there we go. 
<laughs> Jeez, he's so mean. So yeah, I stole your jewelry and then insulted you. Um, definitely had a tongue though. I def I know that they use the tongue a lot for sure, for sure. Gang, 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 gang. Oh yeah, and you would always say like gang, 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 gang. Ha 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 ha. I like that a lot about the Pokemon. I like, I always remember repeating them in my childhood. Ha ha ha. Ghastly. Yes. No shiny diamond right there. Spitting on your grave. Spitting on his own grave. <laughs> oh, and he floats too, so we have to indicate that with some... Uh... <laughs> he floats two inches above the ground as a ghost. No higher, no lower. <laughs> he looks like a freaking grimace toddler. Oh my god. I love him. He's my little boy. Okay. Uh, next... What do we have here? Oh, did we thank who said that? Deadeye over on uh, Twitter. Thank you for that Gengar submission. Next, we have uh, Bravery. Braviary. I think that was a bird? Uh, avier? Avi avian type of Pokemon? So, I think that one had, like, this very eagle-like approach to him. He also had, like, very grumpy eyes, as most of the bird Pokemon do. Um... Definitely like a smug. If he was a villager from Animal Crossing, he would definitely be very smug. This is already just reminding me of like Zapdos or something, but I know it's not Zapdos. I'm trying my best to not make it Zapdos. Uh, I thought he had this like crown kind of thing on his head. I, I definitely remember his wings being <laughs> like very, very reg regale. Uh, you know, because, you know, the, the birds like to show off their feathers and everything. So definitely, this is a very intimidating pose. If you see, if you see, um, <laughs> I remember he also had like these very uh, talon-like feet. Like he would always be showing his feet for some reason. You know, he's just really into that. Uh, oh yeah, just loves showing them chicken legs. Okay, get the little talon claws in there. And I think they only have three toes, right? Birds, birds uh, anatomically only have three toes. Am I am I correct on that? Uh, yeah. And uh, uh, let's see. Oh, he also did have a, like a nice big uh, kind of flat tail, if I remember that correctly. Definitely, definitely accurate. Yeah, this is like looking like some kind of mishmash of Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres. <laughs> um, definitely. I'm still liking it, though. It still looks like a bird. It's not too bad. I'll pat myself on the shoulder, say how do you do. Uh, he's got the little bird-like skin. Oh, draw some little feathers there. There we go. That's how you know he's flying and he's losing some, some individual feathers as he's flapping around. Scraw. That's... That's what he makes in the game, right? He just says scraw. He doesn't say rivalry. And I think he was like had like these American type of colors, like dark blue, dark red, and maybe some white or something there. What did what did he have? Oh, maybe it was just yellow, red, and blue. I think the beak was just the yellow. So let's get that in there. Okay. Maybe the feet were also yellow. Not too bad. We're trying to be efficient here. Trying to get in all them colors. Okay. I like that. Now let's get in that red. I think it was more like a subdued kind of red. Like this. And then it had a nice subdued like... I want, ooh, like I want to say like almost cobalt-like color. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Looking good. We're cooking. Cooking up this chicken. Frying some chicken at the Popeyes, not KFC, because KFC is dead to me because they've really started lacking in quality as of late. Uh, definitely not a call out post on that. Okay. I don't think all the feathers were maroon like this. Maybe just the interior of the wings and whatnot. Some of the feathers were more just blue like this. Uh oh, the colors are mixing. Uh, that is okay. You know why? Because this is a. Rough sketch. Every time I say that, I'm endorsed $5 from myself. 
netting a total of five dollars. Actually, no, it's a zero net gain. Okay, I think the body was also blue. Let's see, let's get that blue in there. And uh, I think I think we're golden, definitely. Looking good. Maybe maybe this portion was like a different color. But there's our rivalry. <laughs> oh no, it was called bravery. There we go. Thank you for that, uh, Silverthorn. Okay, uh, what are we going to have next? Uh, we have from Dramatic, Gudra. Uh, okay, I gotta get my bearings here. I think uh, I think we're almost halfway here. We did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we are on number eight. Uh, canonically, this is number eight in the Pokedex entry. Gudra. Gudra was one of my favorites. I do remember playing, um, was it black and white, and just having a nice time uh, with the pure dragon type that is Gudra. Is that... I think the first form was like the Sligo, Sligo or something. He had like these like curly Q things here, only like really simple, uh, really simple Pokemon to draw, but that's a little bonus for you folks there. I think that was Sligo. So Gudra is the final form, who is more like dinosaur-like, I want to say. Uh, <laughs> oh gosh. I think we're going to have another Moomin shape for the dragon here. Because I think Gudra... Yeah, had had a more like Dragonite type of bulbousy look. I remember Gudra kind of being like very, very like shy or a cautious type of demeanor, you know? <laughs> this just looks like the dino with the long neck from that movie. Um, oh gosh, I'm blanking on that. But no, Gudra had a more stout body. Like, Gudra was thick though. Don't get me wrong. Gudra was a thick thick Pokemon. Probably why uh, they were so popular, to be honest. That's just how the Pokemon community acts. That's that's not just a commentary or anything, that's just an observation. Uh, Gudra definitely had a thick tail that kind of curled in like a squirrel a little bit, and I remember in like Pokemon Arceus, uh, uh, they had like <laughs> small little arms, and like a big... Uh, what was it? Like, they had the, the tail here turned into, like, some sort of big snail shell, like a Gary <laughs> snail shell. I don't, I, I guess, actually, yeah, Gudra is a dragon type, but uh, they come from, like, a slug. So that was a really cool little uh, evolution there that actually made sense for Pokemon for a change. And I forget if, like, she had these little, like, droopy little slug horns. Probably. Um... So like, hey, I, I'm really nervous, but I'd like to meet you. Um, you know, I'm doing my best here. Um, I'm I'm covered in goo all the time. I can't help it, but but uh, trust me, it's it's organic. Uh, it, it won't hurt you. It's all natural goo. Uh, yeah, that's that's how the the, the anime went. Very very sure that that that's how that went. Um. Did she have like a little belly too? You know what? Just I, every Pokemon has a belly. Just just give them just give them belly shapes. Uh, ooh, I think she had like this kind of pattern here. That's 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 right on right on the character model right there. Perfect. This donut like tail. Uh, with some little feet. This is more like Yoshi than anything. Um, and she had I want to say she had like that pattern across the bottom of her face too. Uh, and maybe some goopy little goop on the, the little antlers here. She leaves like a slug trail around wherever she goes. Everyone just slips on it. It's the bane of a Gudra. <laughs> it's still really cute. I, I, I like them. They're doing their best. I cannot knock a person for trying their best. Um, but that's... That's definitely Gudra. And uh, they were, I think they had, they did have some shades of purple going on here. Like a nice, man, I'm feeling like more and more like this is, this is a, uh, not to compare myself to him, but it's feeling very Bob Rossi. You know, we're just here to draw our happy little Pokemon friends and just have a good time. 
I went from being very pissed off that I couldn't draw anything to, to, to proving to myself I can't draw anything still, but I'm moving my paws across the screen and we're producing an image. That is, uh, that is the joy of painting there for you folks. We can still make something, even if it's shit. <laughs> oh gosh, no, I'm sure you folks at home are doing way better. Um, but what is art? Abstractly. Art is subjective. Art is in the, the, the eye of the beholder. The eye of the master, the Pokemaster. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just want to give them a hug. They're like, that's, that's honestly what's happening here. They're like, nobody will hug me because I'm just covered in slime all, the, all of the time. Oh god. Please. Please help me. Can I have some Mucinex? Oh gosh, maybe that would kill her. Or just don't put salt or anything on Gudra and, and they'll be fine. A little goopy, goopy derg. I think they're just pure dragon type. I think so. Maybe, maybe it's this color on this side. No, let's, let's, let's make it more accurate there. There we go. Okay. Very nice. Very nice Gudra, if I do say so myself. And we got that, got that YouTube thumbnail arrow just pointing at a random object so we know nothing whatsoever, not conveying any information. Okay, <laughs> next. What do we have here? Uh, I don't know if I thanked you. It was by... Gudra was a submission by Dramatic over on Twitter. Next we have, ooh, the fan favorite, Lucario. Uh, I've definitely drawn Lucario at least twice in my life. So let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if my memory is still serving me right. Um, he does have, like, the, the Pokemon eyes, the very serious Pokemon eyes. I, you shouldn't draw the eyeballs before anything else, but here I am. Let's go. Uh, I know he's got, like, this weird mouth going on here. Like, it's like a weird cone shape where his mouth is very low, even though I want to draw the mouth, like, up here. But it's it's really low for some reason. Does he have a nose? I want to say he's got like this pattern going up though. And then he's got these like really sick uh, little like sonic ears. Maybe not that small. Uh, does he have like a little tuft of hair or... No, doesn't he have like dreads? Doesn't he have dreads like this or something? I remember him having some kind of dreads. I, I think I'm getting this right, right? That's, that's Lucario. He's always ready to fight. Because he's fighting steel type. Um, does he have like a nose like this? <laughs> he just looks more like just a regular dog. Nothing even like super unique the way I'm drawing him. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, Yes, this is this is looking good. I'm having full confidence here. Um, let's, does he have like some kind of fighting stance or something? I know he's got like a really big spike in his chest. Uh, that's he's really he's really famous for being hard to hug. I, I know that that was true. Um, let's see what is what is a fighting pose like? Is he is he ready to like throw down so throw some paws? Throw some paws here. It's more like a Gallade pose. <laughs> He's got some beans. Oh yeah. I'm really actually trying to think really hard on this one. Way harder than I should for this drawing. <laughs> you got tiny feet. Oh my god, what am I doing? I'm sorry, Lucario. I'm insulting your fan base. Just give you little tiny feet. He's just like, he just looks like he's ready to mamba. Does he have a tail? Does Lucario have a tail? I feel like he's just got a small stumpy tail. But on the other hand, also not. Um, does he, He's got spikes on his elbows. He totally does. Uh, what else here? Um, he's got them sassy bedroom eyes, though. That's for sure. 
Uh, but I get the impression that Lucario's, you know, he's a lone wolf. He's a lone dog. He doesn't want to be bothered. He just wants to do his own thing. He seems pretty chill. I would drink a root beer with him. Little, little beans right there. And, uh, I, oh gosh, the more I go on with this, the, the more confidence I have to pretend like I have. Full disclosure here. Uh, but, you know, fake it till you make it. It's the old saying, fake it till you make it. Which I don't entirely buy, because, you know, you have to have some passion for what you're doing on some level. Okay, this is just totally a sonic color. This is 100% the code for the sonic color if you were trying to get like the color code for this right now uh i have a feeling that his his paws on his forearms were more gray like i think that's accurate i just remember grays and blues i, I don't know which parts were which something like that maybe his feet his feet were more gray this is just straight up sonic body <laughs> no, okay, I think those paws, though, are spot on. Definitely has, like, the little accents on the paws. The dreads, 100%. They were a dark color, I think. Uh, he's looking pretty fly, though, I'm not gonna lie. I wish I could have some sick dreads uh, from time to time. Those are pretty cool. Uh, does he have dark ears as well? I know the little stripes markings, those are dark. And then maybe he's got, like, blue around it everywhere else. I think so. I think. I'm not totally guessing. I'm not trying to uh, bullshit you, but that's, that's probably probably what I'm doing. The big spike. Oh, yeah, I can't forget the big spike. There we go. I'm liking it. Uh, this is a true homage to Lucario fans everywhere. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Lucario I'm sorry um, And what was his belly Was his belly also <laughs> Dark grey Oh there we go That's That's looking pretty <laughs> Special <laughs> Special and near and dear to my heart Is, is Lucario even a legendary type I, I don't even remember at this point Because it's like the, that one guy with the hat Had him in the movie And then he was all cool and like, you thought that was the only Lucario, and then you find out Lucario is just a run-of-the-mill Pokemon that you could find in the wild. He didn't really have, like, a special encounter at all. Um, okay, so thank you, uh, Lumi, Lumi Miss, uh, Mareski, uh, for the Lucario submission. I appreciate it. And, uh, oh gosh, I think that was only nine. We got six more to go. Let's do Zoroark. Okay. Uh, still in the same vein as uh, Zor uh, Lucario here. I oh, I know he had 100% a big bushy tail. That that is 100% uh, accurate. Uh, I know he's got these like little little skinny thief-like feet. Uh, <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, oh, what is happening with that booty? Oh, I don't. I don't know, <laughs> Mama. Oh, <laughs> uh, oh my gosh. Oh, what am I doing to you? I I am committing crimes on in some country. I know he's got like this. Also, the hair. He's got that Sonic hair. Sonic hair. Sonic hair. Um, I'm trying to I'm trying to keep it together, folks. Oh, my brain is turning to mush the more I continue. You know, there is a point in art where you are supposed to say, stop, take a break, but I am not. Uh, maybe he's got, like, the... He looks more like the hedgehog. Did he? I, th I feel like he had, like, a nice, like, little hairband or something there. Did he have, like, little ears, too? <laughs> this is, like, freaking Sonichu. Uh, oh, yeah, that's totally the legendary right there. Zorark. He's got these little claws. He'll steal more jewelry. That, God, that dumpy though. That has, I gotta do something about that. I feel like that's this is basically Zorark in his truest form. Um, 
Absolute dumpster. Dumpster fire. <laughs> oh my god, my brain is the consistency of a 7-Eleven Slurpee right now. Just poke a straw in my head and slurp it. Okay, he also had like this maroon lichen rock color. I swear by Jubis he did. That is like orange. What am I doing? Uh, I think his hair was somewhat like this. And then it eventually bled into like the, the darker, uh, blacker colors. Maybe, maybe this accent was like a foxtail and it just had red back here. I think the belly was also red. And let's just make the, the hands red for consistency's sake. And then the rest was just a simple darker color. I think he had blue eyes, you know? If there will be one thing that I get right about this sketch, it'll be that he had blue irises. Fact check me. Well, actually, we'll be checking ourselves after this. <laughs> we'll be ch I'll be checking myself out soon. Don't you worry, folks. Thanks for sticking around this far if you made it. You deserve one scrummy bone if you made it this far. That's your little treat, and I'll give you a, you're a good boy. Or a good girl. Good lass. Good, good whatever thing that you are out there watching this. Uh, I appreciate you. But yes, I remember he was very dark, so he could fit into the shadows at night and uh, steal things. Let's see. Oh, white eyeballs. And then we will make them a nice little blue. A little blue here. Where's my blue? Oh, I don't even have blue selected. Okay. Like, very blue eyes. That's that's what I remember. Boom, there's your Zora. Zora, 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 Okay. I believe that was, oh god, I exploded his line work. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. And now we have Totodile. Okay. I, I think I can draw a Totodile. I'm more confident about this one. Uh, he, he had a very cute alligator-like nose. Um, he had a big scraggly. Very, <laughs> just had big chompers. I just remember him always biting Ash. I think that was the stick that a Ash had with his totodile. Just like, uh, how, how, what was it? Like, Carnivine or something had with, uh, with, um... Uh, James. Yeah, I believe it was James. Um, but Totodile was always like a happy camper, always just... <laughs> liking his expression. Um, I, kn I know he had a smaller maw than that, but just, just bear with me here. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. I think the eyeballs were as big as the top of his head, actually. I think it ended there. Uh, I know his body was really small as well, because he's a beginner Pokemon for Gen 2, I think, for silver and gold. Um, he always likes sticking the one foot up like Pikachu. Like that. Little frog. Alligator boy. And he had the... Uh... <laughs> oh gosh. What am I doing to you? He had the, yeah, he definitely had the little spike or something there, little, little body spikes on the spine, and, uh, oh my gosh, I am, what, he had markings, right? I think he had a belly. <laughs> they all have bellies. Oh boy. Oh, Totodile. You're a great starter, Pokemon. I, I like when you turned into Fraligator. My little brother had you. I stuck with Typhlosion to be honest, but that's no that's no shame on you, that's on me. Uh, and every every subsequent playthrough that I've had, I've always chosen Cyndaquil. <laughs> that that was that's just my decision. But no, this this generation, honestly, every starter was a banger. It's only after they made every fire type after this uh, uh freaking fighting type and standing on two legs. Which, to be honest, even Totodile to Fraligator st stood on two legs, but at least they played with the proportions a little bit better. Totodile, you were blue. I think, I think, uh, I think that's, uh, inaccurate. Oh, no. Okay. 
I think that's an accurate blue here. Nice little sky blue. I'm gonna get you right there. And maybe he was actually just blue throughout. Yeah, I don't think he had a tummy. Now that I think about it. But the I know for sure his little spines were red. It's gotta be. I think so. I can't question myself now. Okay, um, tongue, little tongue was red. You're getting a really inside, in-depth look at, at my creation process here, where I just keep throwing my head at the wall until something sticks, and then I just keep refining it like a, like a samurai in his blade. Uh, but really, I'm just, I'm just literally cooking spaghetti at this point until something sticks to the wall. It's kind of how my brain works. I don't have a photographic memory whatsoever. I have to keep brute forcing every art with my brain until something looks right. And, you know, the, the artist trope is that you, no one looks at reference. You got to look at reference, guys. You got to keep trying. You got to keep throwing your brain at the wall until, until you can make some progress at, at, at having some sort of a visual library, you know? That is important, and I acknowledge that. But this is not the lesson for today. This, we're just r sketching roughly, and that's our Totodile. I hope you enjoy that. Uh, he's eager to be your starter Pokemon, even though you're going to be choosing Cyndaquil. And he knows it, but he stays Jipper. Okay. Uh, what are we on now? Uh, oh gosh, I forgot how to count again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Totodile was number 11. On to number 12, we have Garchomp. Ooh. I remember he was a very strong Pokemon. Um, was he was he the final evolution of that shark type of Pokemon that like swam through the sand or something like that? I think I think so. He had like a hammerhead like blade type of face or something, right? Is I feel like he's a bit more technical actually. Um, with his design, and I am totally going to just just insult the creator of Garchomp. I am sorry. Uh, I think he had some kind of bullet-like nose with, with a with, with some teeth. Oh boy. Come on, think about this. Think. Put your big brain blast on blast. Oh boy. Um, did he have... I feel like he had like some kind of hammerhead-like aesthetic here. Uh, is that is that looking good? I th I think I think he was like a top-tier Pokemon in the meta, right? He's super strong, and he's got like his little. Oh, <laughs> okay. So this is a problem sometimes I have with a canvas. I'll just make a really improportional size thing, and then I won't change my canvas size or anything. And I just have to squeeze it all in and just make this bad habit where I make everything all lumpy. Um, but I think he had sort of like this raptor-like look. I don't think he had really like, uh, uh, what do you call, hands or anything. They were more like nubs. And he would just like hold them like a little T-Rex. So it was more like, kind of like a prey mantis with little fins, shark fins on the edges. I believe that's what it was like. Did he have a, like a big fin on the head? You know what? He's a shark. He should. That's his new, uh, his new edit right there. That is going to be logged in the Wikipedia. Um, I cannot undo that. You're welcome. Um, oh, God, that is not where the, sh the deltoid goes. But, uh, oh, you are going to be looking like some kind of alien creature. I can feel it. Uh, as all of my drawings usually go. Okay, well, get some depth in there with the mouth. Uh, maybe have like a little darker, some lashes there to give him some more personality. Okay, liking that. He's got a little smirk. He's pretty confident. He knows he's strong, so he's cocky. But I, I admire a bit of cockiness. Uh, let's see here. He also has like a belly, right? And he's got like pretty a pretty proud stance as a shark would. Uh, 
I just know he's super strong. Maybe yeah, that looks like that looks like very strong goblin shark feet, right? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, but he does have like this really cool shark like tail. I do remember that. That is okay, that's pretty sick. You uh are cool in my book, Garchomp. He's got like these little shark fins. Very shark like. Um what can I say? Shark week is his week. Uh, what else do we got cooking here? Is that... I think that's looking pretty good. Maybe he's got a shark... Oh, the shark fin is right there. Oh, it's got to be on the back. I don't think it's on your head. Okay, uh, edit that Wikipedia entry, guys. Um, he does not have that on his head, I believe. And I gave him this, like, dome. I don't think he has, like, this really pronounced ridge. I think it's more like that. I think that's, yeah, that's more accurate, right? You know, see, we can we can undo things and change things as we go. We don't have to be married to any specific design choice here. We're rough sketching, for crying out loud. Okay. Give him a little shadow, because he's standing proudly on the ground here. Even though he's a, sh he's a, he's a land shark, I just realized that. Oh my god. Very nice. And he also has like a purple darkish color scheme, I believe. So let's just whip that right up. Uh, let's see. Um, do you think this will blend? Ooh, that is lovely. I'm liking this blue. It's very satisfying to paint in here. And that's the great part too about using cardboard. You don't really care too much about your canvas. You can just smear everything you want. And nobody will be the wiser because they'll be like, he's using cardboard. You can like use a spray paint can and it'll be good. It'll look fine. It looks appropriate. Okay, let's just put the purple man in his place. That, don't take that out of context. Okay, <laughs> God, that is so bad. <laughs> don't, I really need to watch what I say on this freaking internet. I don't know what YouTube will ban these days. Um, just a stream of consciousness. Just keep that in mind here. It's really hard to talk and think and draw at the same time because I'm basically the Foster's home of imaginary friends scribble. Do you remember what those were, guys? Where they could only handle one thought. And if they did anything that deviated from that one thought, they went utterly insane and batshit crazy until you babied them back to normalcy. That is my inner brain. That's how I work. Uh... So please bear with me here. I think he had like these little accents on the the shark fins. Um, I want to say he has a star. Don't don't you think he has a star, like a really cute star right here? Because he's 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 not a starfish. <laughs> he's a star shark. Um, I think I think that's what he looked like. Um, let's get the teeth there. Like let's get the little chompers there. He's bearing his uh shark fangs at you. Do sharks have fangs? No, they have teeth. I think that's right. And a little, it's got a little shine there. Wait. Ooh. Got a little shine there. Because he's wet. He's slick. He's a shark. He's been in the water. I'm getting like very like latex vibes for some reason now. Uh, okay, that's looking pretty, pretty, pretty good. I like that. He's very shiny. <laughs> that's why he's so fast in the water. He's got that shark skin. Ooh, I think that's an actual ability too. But uh, there's your Garchomp. Let's fix the tongue here really quick. There's your Garchomp. Uh, thank you for that submission. Next, we have Tropius. Ooh, I like that Pokemon. He was very cute back in the day, and I've always wanted to capture one. But I remember him being a little rare, so... I don't think I ever got around to getting him, but he's, uh, I remember specifically he had bananas, like, under, this one had another, like, eye dome situation going on, I believe, but I remember he had bananas, um, right under his chin, so, let's get that in there, he's like another dinosaur type, so, of course, the movement face comes back, did I just, like, discover something about Pokemon design that nobody else ha has seen yet? Look at these. <laughs> he looks so smug. He's like, I bear fruit. You can't do that. It is my special ability. I'm like cha channeling my inner unique Unojo, my Uncle Joe. 
I bear three fruit. Can you do that? No, because I'm a Pokemon. Uh, okay. Does he have a little nose? No, he does not have a nose. He's Tropius. He, tro tro Tropius. He's just... <laughs> we don't even have to draw his body. He's just a neck. He's just, he's just a long neck Pokemon. And I know... That's kind of dissing him, and I'm not, this is not a cop-out. I'm not trying to get away with this. He's got a leaf on his head. That is for sure. And I know he, let's, let's include some wings here. So he's got some of those nice banana leaf wings. I know those are beautiful. And he can fly. He's actually grass flying type, if I'm correct on that. Uh, so he's doubly weak to ice, and he will get absolutely murdered. Uh, so don't. Don't send him out if you're fighting like an Articuno or something, because he will die. I think he's got a little little grass patch right there. But that is totally Tropius. Uh, Tropius, little fun fact here, because I haven't been dishing out enough of those today. Uh, Tropius, it, his name is actually based off of uh, what plants do when they start facing the sun, known as, like I believe, like autotropic, autotropism, or something like that. And as the sun progresses through the day, they, they'll actually start following, the leaves of the plants will start following the sun to capture more solar power. So they can use solar beam on their next turn. Uh, so let's get the bananas uh, all nice and colored. That is a very banana color. I'm very proud of that color. Uh, I think he was brown. Uh, brown with some green leaves. Kind of like just a, like a palm tree type of Pokemon or, or a banana tree. Yeah, I just realized he's just a banana tree. Oh my gosh. So, yeah, he his neck even rivals that of, uh, what was that other Pokemon with the really long neck in the Alolan game? Uh, Executor. <laughs> I really do like that form that Executor got in the future games. Uh, that was pretty, pretty poggers if I do say so myself. Um, I think the neck was just like a trunk like this. And then we'll just color in the, a nice hue of green just on top of his little dome right there. We'll get his little wingies. Yeah, I think he had two sets of wings. So he had four wings in total, and they'll be in the back. But we only need to show the, the two front ones here because he's so darn tall, and he's flying in the sky. That's all we need. That's our Tropius boy. Um, ooh, wait, the bananas have those little little end tips here. We can, we can add that in here. Boom, boom, ka-choo, ka -chow. And, you know, he's in the sun a lot, so he needs, like, that very nice shine as well. There we go. That is our Tropius. <laughs> Give him a little, little boop. Okay, uh, so that was number, let's see here. We got, wow, we went through a lot here so far. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. We're in the home stretch, uh, stretch ladies and gentle boys. Uh, we have two more. We have Arcanine, and I won't spoil the last one here. So let's go, oops, sorry, Tropius. Okay. <laughs> okay well 15 is a lot more than i actually expected doing uh okay <laughs> i'm somehow getting more invested as we go along arcanine he is actually uh, my favorite pokemon ever uh, ever since the beginning games i've always liked arcanine um so i do have a little bit of a knack for drawing him a uh, little humble brag there um but for sure he is a furry fandom favorite uh, okay, I could do a little bit more justice and detail for him right there. But he's got, he's always been like a, see, I was always confused about Arcanine because in the earlier anime, they would, they would depict him as a legendary type and they even, uh, give him a little Pokedex description saying that he is legendary. But if you always looked at the movies and stuff, he's never been officially like canonically legendary. So I was always kind of peeved as that as a kid, and I swear I would have, like, a lot of different arguments with my friends about him being a uh, legendary or not. So if we were trying to battle, the, my friend said, no, you couldn't use a legendary or something like that. 
Uh, so it was, yeah, needless to say, he caused a lot of drama in my life unnecessarily. But, uh, ooh, he does have, like, a fang, though. I know that. He's got a little fang there. A little fang. A little fangy. Right around here. A little arcanine for you. Um, let's see. I know he's got, like, a, he's got a nice big, like, lion dog body. Very proud lion dog body. Uh, does he have any stripes? I forget if he has... I think he's got stripes on his cheeks and stuff, too. If I'm correct on that. Um, let's see. But he's got, like, a wonderful, like, thick paw. Oh, gosh. Here my brain goes again. Uh, let's see here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm trying to keep it... Keep... It's like, stay on target, stay on target. <laughs> Stay on target, brain. Envision. Put it together. Put it together like clay. Keep going with it. Mold it. Perceive it. Achieve it. Let's go. I don't think his back was actually that fluffy. It's like he just had a shower. Uh, oh, boy. <laughs> Why are all my Pokemon turning out to be like hedgehogs? Uh, why, God, why do you do this to me in my brain? Um, but no, he had, like, really cool tufts, I think, on his uh, ankles and stuff. So he's got that going on. Little, little tufts on his little, little fur. He's got this really big tail, though. I remember it had, like, this kind of bendy shape to it. And I think he had, like, these little squiggles that are sort of like a Charlie Brown thing that go across his body like a tiger. Uh, and then, does that go across the main portion of his body? I think so. We'll just scribble that in. Uh, let's see here. Put a little bit more on top here. And, uh, go and get this one under his eyeball. And I believe that is, uh, our Arcanine. That is, that is definitely a dog that Charlie Brown would own. <laughs> oh boy I think his tail was just uh, yellow too okay wait we gotta get the other paw in there get that little back paw get that in there squeeze it in and that's looking pretty good I will do say so myself I think this is probably our best Pokemon drawing yet some grass. See, you know it's good when I start adding the little environment. That's how you know when artists are really invested. They start adding more elements to it. And it's like, okay, we gotta stop. Right there. Maybe he's like, hey! Give him some, some, some eyebrows, some expressive eyebrows. It's like, not bad. He's a little stout, though. It's like you uh, crossbreed a Arcanine with a Corgi. So, <laughs> uh, not a bad idea, though. Okay, that'd be really cute, even though we're destroying the, the Pokemon dog evolutionary chain here. Okay, so let's get those colors locked in here. Arcanine is also pretty simple, because he is just an orange dog. Plain and simple as that. He's, he's orange with bits of yellow speckled in. He's basically Garfield. I mean, if you really think about it, you know, he, he probably loves lasagna, and he probably absolutely hates Mondays. So we'll get his ears uh, a little scribbled in there. Ooh, okay, so this pen, when I use this color, I can just go back over and double back with the orange, and it's going to make it this color. It's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, that's going in there just like that. I think the middle part of his hair was also orange, so he's like going, you know, like supersonic here. Uh, the inside of his ears were also like a nice orange. And I can just get that over there. I think his belly, also orange. Going underneath. And that is uh, our Arcanine, essentially. I mean, this is basically a furry commission right here. Okay. Let's see. Doesn't he have like a nice little little red tongue? There we go. Oh, and does he have blue eyes too? He probably has blue eyes. 
it contrasts really well with the orange. So let's let's get that all situated there. Merge down. Okay, that's not bad. I'm glad we got Arcanine in there, actually. We got my favorite Pokemon. Thank you, guys. Uh, thank you to Dusty Yeen uh, on Twitter there for that. Okay, and we got the last one coming up. Are you guys ready for the finale here? It's number 15. Number 15. Are you guys ready for the absolute best Pokemon for number 15? Uh, Shmurgle. Uh, thank you. So we have Freckles Pizza Boy submitting Smurgle for number fifteen. Um, that, well, that's actually really fitting because he's a he's an artist. Smurgle is legitimately the only Pokemon that I think that draws. I know he's got the, like this little toupee. Uh, maybe his hat's there, you know, um, little toupee there. Uh, I think it just it, he's like a Pokemon that has like a molded hat to his to his head. It's so like when you think about Pokemon and when they have accessories and they evolve with the accessories. I think he's got another, like, kind of a mob psycho <laughs> vibe going here. With the whole bowl cut. Um, but he's like a monkey, too. So it's like, oh. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Maybe he's got, like, some, some uh, paint on his finger or something. That's definitely paint. That's that's one hundred percent Smurgle paint. Okay, uh, I'm I'm doing that thing where I get, go too close to the canvas again. Uh, let's see. Okay, Smurgle. He's a monkey, so he's got to have monkey ears, right? He's got to have like nice big monkey ears. There we go. That looks like a real artist now. Um, looks like me. <laughs> Okay, uh, you know what? He's actually just a Gorillas member. He's the drummer. He's the new drummer for the band. He's very proud of holding his. Uh... Oh no, he uses a tail, doesn't he, for for his uh his art? So maybe he's holding his tail like like an, a true artist would. And uh, let's see, he's got to be hunched over in a nice monkey pose. Oh gosh, what happened? Let's get that a little bit smaller so we can fit him in the canvas. And then he's going to... Yeah, he's just ready to paint. What sound does a Smurgle even make? Smurgle. I am Smurgle. I am Smeagol. Hoo-hoo. There we go. Uh, I think... I think he's got a belly, too. Just just add a belly. He's got some paint dripping. You know. This is paint. This is YouTube. This is paint. Okay? This is 100% paint, so don't f content flag me. He's painting a canvas, okay? He is making a lovely picture on an easel that is 100% artistic freedom here. Okay, YouTube? Paint. And he's drawing a lovely... Uh, what, what does Smurgle even like? I don't, I don't know what a Smurgle even likes. Do Smurgles like Tropiuses because they have bananas? You know, <laughs> you know what? That's definitely what uh, Smurgles like because uh, they try to go up the Tropius. We'll just draw a little Tropius again, and <laughs> and they try to grab the bananas, but the Tropiuses get really pissed. They're like, "Stop it, Smurgle!" He just becomes Smeagol like at that point. He's like, no, I want the bananas. Uh, he's like, just really, he's just really, <laughs> like, I don't know why Smurgle's drawing the Tropius really unsatisfied. But he's like trying to grab the banana. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, there we go. It's paint. He's got his little buckets of paint here. 
Um, just get that in there. There we go. Little splotches of paint here. Lovely. Schmergle, you are an absolute artistic genius. There we go. I think he's got a little bit of paint on his cap too. Just like his tail. So that is a uh, our Smurgle. I, I I think that's probably the best one now. Second to Arcanine. Uh so <laughs> Oh, you know what? Okay, we still Oh, I almost forgot to color him. What is Smurgle without paint? Uh I think his paint was green. Just like Tropius. Let's get some goo on there. I think his tail was like this. I think his tail was actually a nice lighter green. Uh, but that is okay. You know what? Because he, <laughs> because he only has green, he can only paint in green. There we go. That's... <laughs> oh, no, no. So, so his paint can is actually yellow. So he borrowed one color so he could color in the bananas on Tropius. That's... That's how that worked. We're painting a story here, guys. That's all what art is. If you can paint a story and tell a story, then you're making art. That is what's really happening. Uh, and then, <laughs> what is Smur Is he a tan color? I feel like he's just a tan monkey. He's just a regular, like, tan colored monkey with some green paint and a toupee. Bing, bang, boom. Thank you, Pokemon artists. But no, honestly, freaking Pokemon designs are next level. There's a reason why these games are always just so, so like, well-designed and, like, people... Okay, wait, I take that back. Pokemon games, not so well-designed, but the designs of the characters themselves are always really cool. Like, you cannot deny that the whole fan base just wants Pokemon to be a good game, and they just want to show the most amount of love to the good designs in the series. But that's not this timeline. Uh, I think he had, like, a lighter belly or something like that. Um, that's that's looking pretty nice. I think, uh, yeah, we got paint his little hand in there. And uh, that's... Oh, wait, nope. Got to look at his eyeballs. I don't know if he had any color to it, to him. Maybe his ears were lighter, too. No, we got to make it this color. We got to quickly edit that. Throw this in here. And I think he had a green on his toupee or something like that. I forget. That's ultimately the crux of this series. I forget. Okay. So, that was our last 15th Pokemon. Um, I'm going to be right back here with you guys. And I'm going to compile and throw together all the doodles on this one canvas. I will be right back. Sit tight. Okay. Holy moly. That was all 15 Pokemon that we just doodled and made rough sketches for. So now let's go and compare them to the actual <laughs> models of the Pokemon. So starting off, we have Poochyena here. Let's see what Poochyena, Poochyena actually looks like. Okay, uh, so this is our Poochyena. <laughs> and the one we actually have is, wouldn't you know it, way off. And the colors are actually inverted. Um, but we did get uh, the little pup nature of Poochyena downright, I think. His irises are red, but his corneas are yellow. Um, and he does have a little red nose, so I was close there. But I didn't give him even, like, little paw socks or anything. So I'll say that this was, like, about a... <laughs> uh, I would say we got about, like, halfway there. Okay, moving on. What do we have next? War Turtle. Um... War Turtle, uh, let's see. Okay, so War Turtle does have the little wingy ears. I did get that correct. Um, but he has little teeth. Um, I only got one of the teeth. And he's got little claws too. So that's not so bad. We got uh, like two for two here, three for three. Um, the turtle is brown. The turtle shell is brown and yellow. And he is blue. But his tail is actually also cloud-like. He's got little wispy tails. So... Okay, that was that was not bad. That was not bad. I did kind of cop out and give him the sunglasses, but I know he has the sunglasses in the anime anyway. Moving on. This is our Dragonite. 
<laughs> I think he's a nice little sweet little lad. Let's see what he looks like now. Oh, I totally missed the little noodles on top of his head. And his wings are actually blue. That I feel like that should have stuck out to me, but I totally missed that. Um, but he does have the yellow belly. He does have uh, feet and hands, which are good. I didn't get his claws quite right. But he... Oh my gosh, we didn't even draw his tail, folks. Oh, that's a, that's a thick tail is a worthy detail to remember. That's a good detail. Um, but... You know what? He still has the Moomin face, and I'm glad I captured that really well. He does not have two horns. He only has the one horn, so darn, we missed that mark. Okay, let's go on. What do we have now? We have our Lycanroc. I'm feeling pretty confident about this one, uh, but this is specifically Lycanroc in his Dusk form. So we actually got this wrong. This was his Midnight form, which makes sense. But if we were just going off of his midnight form, I would say we got at least the colors and sort of the the overall proportions correct. Although some things are also inverted. But um, we really wanted the dusk form. This is the dusk form. We were totally off. He's way more canine-like, uh, like the midday form. But um, yeah, I think I think I only draw this one because he was more the popular one. So <laughs> sorry about that. Moving on. Okay, we have our Zigzagoon, right? Is this is this what he looks like? Brown and tan. We were totally off on that. That was the little version. Um, in fact, he does evolve into Linoon, but not this Pokemon. We got that totally wrong. So we are three for two here. We got three out of five correct. At least in terms of, like, the form. <laughs> okay, what do we have next? Gengar. I'm feeling pretty confident about this one. I do say so myself. Oh, the the features of the, the red eyes. Those were what we were missing. So his prior forms does do have the white eyes, but he does definitely get a dark, sinister uh, cornea. And we should have exaggerated him having big teeth. He does smile a lot like a Cheshire cat. Um, and he does have the feet and the arms. He's got little... Uh, fingers and toes there, so I think we got that. And he is mostly a ball with uh, the tufts of fur on the back of his back, and he does have two ears, so I think we ace this one. Okay, next up we have Rivalry, or at least my interpretation of what I remember. Braviary. Okay, okay, not too bad. I, I did rem remember the main color scheme of him and his pose. He does have his talons protruding through the front. He does have a yellow beak and yellow feet. Um, he does have the maroon body with like the purple dark undertone, so we were close there. And but his head though, his head feathers uh, is a white. He has a white sort of tuft on his head. Um, but he does have the the tail wing there, but it also has yellow and blue. Not too bad. I would give this one a six out of ten. <laughs> Being very consistent with the the judging scheme here, just basically uh, saying if it's good or not just off the dome. Okay, next we have Gudra. Oh boy. Um, I am not feeling too good about this lad. Uh, oh, okay, so they did have the thick curly tail, but it does actually go into a little tight curl at the top. And they have much longer uh, tendrils on the head, and they have two little small ones poking out from the top. That's really cute. Um, has a very smaller snout, but super teardrop thick body. That's for sure. Okay, not too bad, but we did get the goo and some of the little tail patterns on top with the little curly cues and the circles, so that's not too bad. Um, again, we inverted the colors, so the lighter is on the outside, but the main body is the darker color here. Uh, so, <laughs> I always think about things ass backwards for some reason. Moving on, we have our main fighting champ here, Lucario. 100% accurate. I can feel it in my bones. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay, we did we did get the dreads right. He has like four sets of dreads, even though I drew like five. But he's got that. Um, he does have a tail. It is blue actually, but he's got oh, he's got like the main component. He's got these big poofy thigh pants. We totally missed that. But he does have the chest spike. He does have the arm spikes. Uh, on more on, more on his forearms or hands. But we did get the coloration right for the paws. 
Um, he doesn't have a belly, <laughs> but he has uh, like a belt-like loop with a yellow center. So we missed that color, but we got two of them. Two out of three. Not Ain't, ain't too bad. Okay. Uh, moving on, we have Zoroark. I know this one. This one's gonna hit similarly, like Lucario, right, right in, the, right in the chest, in my feels, because I know <laughs> I totally nailed this one. Okay, Zorark. He does have the little hairband thing. I should have made that blue. That was my mistake. But it does end in red. His tufts of fur. Ooh, I just noticed. Like his, he doesn't actually have a tail. So it's his hair is so big it acts like his mane and his tail. Uh, so. We did get sort of the proportions, right? He is sort of dummy thick down there, but he has a very tight upper midsection, and he has red claws. Uh, so not red uh, arms, forearms, or legs, just red claws. Okay, next we have our lad, Totodile. Um, oh my gosh, uh, sorry about this one, you guys. My brain totally dropped on this one. I did not do this one justice. Oh my, oh, on so many levels, on so many levels. So he is blue and red, but he has the yellow little chest piece there. We totally missed that. Does not have the belly. I keep adding the belly. Stop it. Um, but he does have... Oh, he has three toes instead of two, but he has little full a full set of fingers there. And he has one red mark on the side of his body. I didn't notice that. Sorry, Totodile. <laughs> uh, okay, moving on. We have the legendarily strong meta champ Pokemon here, uh, Shark Boy from Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Uh, no, it's Garchomp. Um, what does Garchomp look like? Oh, his arm little wingies are way more massive than I thought. Uh, he does have the super thick tail though. Um, he did have the star piece on his nose, but <laughs> his nose is more above his head though. Like at least his forehead, it's way higher up. Uh, but his chest is actually just uh, like a satin orange, um, and he's got spikes all over, actually. But we did get his little raptor claws. That's that's a nice little touch. I'm glad I nailed that piece. And on the back, he does have the shark fin. It was not on top of his head. And we got the little torpedoes on the side of his head like a hammerhead shark. So I am I am happy enough with this. There is no star on his body, but maybe except for on the, the nose portion there. Uh, okay. Tropius, my man, we <laughs> we left out basically 80% of your design, but that's okay. We basically drew him twice. Um, he has a fully green head covering both his cheeks and his forehead, but it, it, the main trunk of his body is brown, and uh, he does have the leaves for wings. So I would say we nailed it. Um, the bananas don't have the little, little uh, brown markings on the bottom there. They're just all yellow, but... They still communicate the same design language, so I'm happy with that. And then we have our favorite Pokemon here, uh, Arcanine. Let's just double check, even though I know it's spot on, it's exactly correct. Um, ooh, I am sorry Arcanine, but I did not get the tufts of yellow fur correct on the bottom of your jaw. Um, I did get most of them correct. Uh, ooh, I also, forgot, <laughs> I also forgot to color in the little tufts on his ankles yellow. But for the most part, I was there as pretty spot on. He's just a little stumpy, but he's also half corgi, so that's okay. And our last Pokemon, Smeargle. Uh, oh, he actually has a really cute design. I have not looked at his design in a really long time. He does have the toupee with the little spike, but he has a brown and sort of a light tan color going on with only the green paint on his tail, not anywhere else. Uh, and he's got these like cute little rings going around his arms, kind of like a lemur. Um, he's actually more like a little puppy dog this is, than a monkey. I don't know why I thought of him as a monkey. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he's really cute. He's got, like, a Snoopy aesthetic. And, oh, and he sticks his little tongue out. That's, that's really nice. Uh, but there you have it. That's all 15 Pokemon from my memory. Uh, and it was really bad, and it was quite the chore to get through this because that took over an hour, actually. But I'll cut this video way down. Um, but I, I, I want to just thank you guys for taking the time to sit with me through my art block and try to draw Pokemon from memory. And I hope you guys were trying to draw along too or just happy to give me some company. And I really appreciate that and you guys taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Um, 
you guys have a lovely day. This really did bring up my spirits to try, and I challenge you guys all to just try and draw stuff from memory more often to get you warmed up, warm those those mitts up. But you guys have a lovely day, and you guys take care. Bye-bye.